Hi guys, Nancy Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, we're back for part two. Okay, here we go. So, this is dried. Okay, I let it dry overnight. I don't always let it dry overnight. Well, especially in the summer, I don't let it dry overnight. You could put... The, it is so hot here. It's hot, hot... Excuse my language, but it's hot as hell here in the summertime. It's like 110, 114. It's ridiculous, okay? And, um... Most days it's like 104, 105, then we'll have a week of 110, 114. It's insane. But what's nice about that is, is you can just put something that was all, you know, you guys saw how nice and sticky this was after I collaged all this, all these layers. It'll dry in 10 to 15 minutes outside. But it's winter here now, and now it's really cold, so I just let it dry overnight, pretty much. Okay. That was a lot of useless information. All right, let's continue on. Now, what we want to do now is I want to take, um, with my beautiful mermaid brush. Aren't these gorgeous? <gasps> I love those. Um, I'm going to dip my brush in water, which you can't see. So this brush is wet. Now I'm going to dip it into my gesso, a wet brush into gesso, because I want to give this a light gessoing. I want to be able to still see all these beautiful, yummy layers, right? So if I dip it into the water first, it thins out my gesso just perfectly so I'm not covering up because I don't want to cover up I just want to uh, kick my collage bits back a little bit and create a nice surface to do a bunch of other stuff on that's it dip in water dip in the gesso okay so now we need to dry this. Okay, so I'm going to pause you guys, which it won't feel like a pause to you guys. It'll feel like one or two seconds. But I'm going to pause this and dry this with my dryer. This will dry really quickly. So. Oh, what is this? Look what I just found over on the side. I don't know why I found that. Anyway. I have stuff everywhere. I'm crazy. They have this little um, makeup bag at Dollar Tree, and I don't know why I didn't buy it. It's pink and white, so it's totally me, and it says hot mess, and I am a hot mess, okay? I'm a hot mess with how much crap I buy, okay, for all my crafting and all my arting and all my yarning. I need to get that bag. <laughs> all right, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to pause you guys. Okay, you guys, this is all nice and dry. All right. Get ready, you guys. We got a ton of layers going on here. Okay. Here we go. All right, let me get my stamps out and hopefully I don't hit the camera. It's right behind it. Okay. <gasps> I got the camera. Okay. I'm going to, I'm not going to zoom in, you guys. I want to work zoomed out so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But I promise at the end I'll go over both pages and zoom in so you can really see things. Okay. But I want you to be able to see the, you know, the particulars of what I'm doing. Okay. That's going to be later. Okay, so I have this postage stamp. Isn't this cool? i just looking for background, so I'm using this um, Archival Sepia. This is one of my favorite colors, Ranger. And it's, uh, you know, a permanent color. And I just, what I'm doing, is we're just building cool layers. Okay? And just keep using it until it goes away. Okay. Now I have this other postage stamp... I, you know, I've used it so many times that the uh, picture went off of it, but it's just a postage stamp. Love this. You guys, I you don't need two of them like I have, but I will always, if I was you, I'd always try to have a postage stamp and a um, handwriting stamp. What is this? Script stamp in your stash for mixed media, but also for like if you're going to make some postcards. Um, if you're going to make tags, you can do so much stuff with postage stamps. So, and they're not cheap. You're usually the ones that are like 15, but just use a coupon. Or if you see them at Hobby Lobby on clearance, <laughs> pick it up. Okay, so this is perfect. I just wanted some of this to be in the background. So that is perfect. We're going to add script stamp, but we're going to add script stamp last because I want that to to be on top of everything. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is I have a bunch of cool, these. I keep these in a plastic bag because these are like my 
I don't know, a bunch of little, they're, they're small stamp, but just so cool. They're very Tim Holtz, very Andy Skinner, funky. Look at this vintage. I've had that forever. I, I think that's Tim Holtz, but this was like, I'm going to do it in black. I got that like 10 years ago, 8, 10 years ago. Lord knows, I don't even know. And people always ask me when they see that stamp, where did you get that stamp? And like I said, I got it like eight or ten years ago, and I I think maybe Joanne's or Michael's, but it was a long time ago. So when I'm stamping like this for backgrounds, I don't worry about putting them on um, on blocks because I'm not going for perfection. If things don't stamp perfectly, that's perfect. Because we're creating vintage, right? So, I'm going to do this. <laughs> we're creating vintage, and what does this stamp say? Vintage. <laughs> I'm going to stamp it until it doesn't stamp anymore. Perfect. Um, I love this typewriter. I'm going to also do this just in one, one place in black. do it right here and let it hold for just a minute because you are going you know you got a lot of layers on here perfect it didn't stamp perfectly but I love it and look how cool that stamp is yeah love it okay I have some ticket stamps and I love these like tickets these are Tim Holtz so he always has, like, every year he comes out with some new ticket stamps. He has a lot of old ones, too. Okay, I'm stamping these ones in black, but I, I want to stop doing black. I want to do more brown than black. Because black is going to, or when you do more brown, it seems more like it's in the background. The black really comes up. I'm going to do some in black, but I want to do more in the brown. So these are all in brown. You're probably not going to be able to see them. But that's the stamp that I'm doing. The tickets. I loved, I just love Tim Holtz stamps. Um, I was watching his, um, what was I watching? It's not CHA anymore. It's called, so I'm just going to keep stamping this until, yeah, the ink runs out. Um. Dang it, it's not CH anymore. It's called Cre Creativations. And um, it's like when they, like, the industries all go and they see all the new products that they're going to sell to us. Then a lot of people tape it. He has some cool, such cool stamps. I have a bad habit of, like, waiting till stuff goes on clearance. Or at least I can get it on sale. But I really wait till stuff goes on clearance. His stamps are so cool that I'm probably going to buy them. I can't wait like a year down the road. Okay, this is a um, this is a uh, postage stamp. Isn't that cool? Uh, love that. That's how cool that is. This right here, I think, is um. Oh, I'm trying to think who this is. I got a bunch of stuff like this. It was um, calligraphy pens, uh, postage stamps, all that kind of stuff, ink wells, all that kind of stuff um, in a package. And I was, we bought them at a uh, craft store that was going out of business. And they also had people coming, this, just their customers coming there and selling their craft stuff too. So I bought it there. It's stamping up. This is a stamping up, a stamping up, old stamping up, I guess. Okay, this is this came in that stamping up kit. See how it's a little calligraphy pin nib? <laughs> Love it. But that's why I gathered all this stuff up because it's like my favorite stamps. I love, I just love how funky all these stamps are. Okay. I'm gonna do some of these pin nibs in black. Okay, and then I have this um, 
clock face. Isn't that fabulous? We're going to do some of them in black and some of them brown on this one. Now, what's coming next, we're just doing tons of layers. When we're done doing all of our layers, then we're going to use the Distress Oxides over it. And that's what's going to give us our color and distress all this out. It's going to look just flipping fabulous. I think it's going to look flipping fabulous. It's going to look like this page. Oh, and then I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about, okay, I told you I'm going to, I'm going to be drawing my girl tonight. Um, my uh, steampunk girl who's going to be the focal point on these on one of these pages. I think she, I'll put her over here, my steampunk girl, once I draw her up and we'll color her together. Then I'm going to make a pocket on this page, just a small pocket on this page so we can put tags in it. So we'll have like a tag page and then our girl over here, I believe. So that's what I'm envisioning. I have these visions. <laughs> they don't all work out, but I have visions. I have visions when I'm sleeping. Like, oh, that would look really cool. And then I'm thinking in my sleep, um, aren't you supposed to be sleeping? Why are you trying to have visions? <laughs> what you're going to do <laughs> with your art. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, then I have, I have a ton more of stuff in here. But I'm going to, oh, I want to use this piece too. Okay, we're going to do two more. This one says beautiful. I want to stamp that in black. And then this, you can't even tell what the heck it is. But it's, um, it's a spool type of a stamp. It's really cool. This is Tim Holtz from like a long time ago. I'm going to do it in black. I should stamp this so you guys can see how cool this is. I will stamp it. I'll stamp it on a piece of paper in just a minute. It's one of my favorite stamps. And if I could have, I would have gotten two or three of these because I want these for my life, <laughs> for a lifetime. But um, I bought them such a long time ago. I'm sure I'll never see them again. All right. Okay, I'm going to stamp it on this piece of paper right now. So you can see how cool this stamp is. You guys are going to be like, thanks, Angela. I don't even can't even buy that anymore. And it says spool on it. Look how cool that is. Oh, I absolutely love that stamp. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one that says beautiful. This is an old Tim Holtz one too. I believe. I'm going to put this beautiful where? I put it here at the bottom. Cool. And we'll put it up here at the top, right here. Cool. Okay, so I could keep going on with my bag of awesome stamps that I just love. Look at this one. Could use that one. Fabulous. Oh, look at that. Eiffel Tower. This is another like. I think it's like a. I don't know. It looks like a ticket again, but a big one. That's a fabulous one. Anyway, I could keep going on and on with these stamps in this bag. You know what I need to do? I need to change this out because I have a bunch of beautiful clear bags that I could put it in. I don't need to keep it in a plastic bag. I need to change that out. Like, look. I'm going to change it out. Look, I have this. Why would I have this in here? Okay. Put that on the floor because that's going to happen when this video is over. Okay, what time are we at right now? 14 minutes? Okay. Decided to bring you in a little closer just so you can kind of see. Isn't that looking cool, you guys? Okay, so now you guys are seeing about the layering I'm talking about. All right. So like I said, we're going to get real close before the video's over. Or when we're done with this. I'll get do a real close up so we can look at everything. Okay. So now we're gonna do some stuff with paint next. Yes. Okay, so I remember I told you my inspiration is this Tim Holtz bag. Okay. 
see how he has like red and turquoise and he has some yellow and stuff in there so the red and turquoise i want to use acrylic paint for that i'm getting like a little top like this i would use my glass mat i usually use my glass mat for the acrylic paint stuff but um but um my book is covering the whole mat right now so and then um I'm going to use this turquoise here. I'm trying to think if I want this turquoise or not. I think I, you know, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this uh, turquoise by Diane Reevely. If I can open it. Just a second, you guys, you're going to hear some banging. Probably not that safe doing that to this container. Oh, I'm going to crack it. Okay, so I'm going to use that teal. So I'm going to use a teal and a red. And then it, all of it will be like, um, it'll all be cut back because we're going to put all the oxides over all of this. So it'll all look kind of crazy, but it's all going to come together like this page. But this is how I accomplished it, layer by layer. Okay, so I want to add a little bit of this stencil. Oh, I'm glad I opened up this paint because it was about to dry. Cool. Okay, so just a little bit of that here and there. And I don't want a specific pattern. Over here I did do specific patterns, but I don't want that. I looked at Tim Hulse and his was more stuff like that, like how I'm doing right now, where it was just um, a little mesh of color, kind of smeared. But some of it was kind of looked stencilly. Anyway, as we keep going, it will make sense. Sometimes I need to just stop explaining and just, just do. Okay, love it. I like this turquoise better than this turquoise color over here. It looks more true turquoisey. Okay, so I, that's all I think I want of that. I'm gonna spray this. This is a Diane Reevely um, paint. To keep it, spray some in the spray some water in the container and spray the lid. And it'll help keep those paints from drying out. I like the fact, I know a lot of people want these still, but there were so many complaints about the paint drying out. I understand why she went to the new bottles. So I kind of like the new bottles. They're smaller and they'll be good for traveling and good for storing. So I don't know. We have no choice anyway, because she got rid she's getting rid of those bottles. Um, oh, let me dry this. It's probably almost dry anyway. Just a second. So that's nice and dry. Okay, so that's nice and dry. Okay, next. So next we're gonna go into my favorite, some of my favorite stencils. 
Uh, they're Andy Skinner. He's very Tim Holtz-like also. So I love his, um, I love his stencils. So, like these. I don't know if you guys can really see them. I've shown you guys. Anybody who's watched my videos, you guys have seen these stencils a million times. Look at that. It's so Tim Holtzy. I should say it's so Andy Skinner because it's his stencils. So, we are going to use these. I think I have another one. Am I going to use just these ones? Is there the word Paris? Okay. So, with some black paint, I need to get my thing back out. I'm going to use some black, just some cheapy black acrylic paint. You guys, I buy my black and my white at Walmart. It's Apple Barrel. Like this, it's like three bucks. And it lasts me forever. So, just want to tell you that. Because black and white you always need, you know? So, it's good to have it in acrylic and buy, buy it, you know, a big bulk size of it. Okay, so, here we go. Um, I want to put this Paris word somewhere. Let's put it, like, just across like this. Bam! Like, right there. The less you think about these things that we're doing right now, the better. The better it turns out. Cool. I can't wait to do the um, distress oxides over all this. It's going to look... That's what really brings it all together is the distress oxides. got a little too smudgy right there the pea smudged I just took it off I don't care it doesn't it's supposed to spell, say the word postal we're doing kind of cool stuff everywhere no one's ever gonna know that says postal okay this says 1812 right there so I want to put that number 1812 in a few places oh that's really smeared you have to try to oh Okay, let's just erase those. What happened is, is I think I have too much paint. I have too much paint on my, um, on my makeup uh, applicator here. That it's just, it's not, it's just smearing stuff. So just a second, let me get some paint off of there. Okay, let's try this again now. That should work better. No, it doesn't want to show up. Okay, there we go. You need very little paint on your makeup sponge. Okay. Do 1812. Just one more time right here. Okay. And then do I want to do... Yeah, I like the word journey. It's right here. So let's put the word journey like right down here. Lift it up. Yep, that looks good. Um... I have a smaller Paris, I think, on here. I have Paris again, but it's smaller. So I kind of want to throw that somewhere else also. Like right here. I'm also going to hit the 1812. It's right above it. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Just looking to see if I have anything else that I want to add. 
there's this number 152. I think I'm going to add that right here. Perfect. Oh, love this. Okay. I think this is fabulous the way this is, so we're going to let that go. Love it. Um, let's put that over here in the water. Let's take a look and see what we're doing for time situation. Okay, you guys, in about five minutes, um, a new video is going to start. So just go ahead and go to the next one. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, we need to dry this. So let me dry it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see all these yummy layers that we have going. There we go. So you can kind of see. Look at all these yummy layers. Okay. Okay. 